Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of our Summer Reading Club programming. And today what we're gonna be making is some really, really fun two ingredient cloud dough. So what you'll need for today's craft is some hair conditioner. I'd recommend using something that smells really nice. I love strawberries, so mine is a strawberry smelling hair conditioner. You will need some cornstarch. I would recommend grabbing some measuring cups. I just have two one cup measuring cups here. And a really nice big bowl, as well as something to stir with. So what you'll want to do to get started is with your measuring cup, again, one cup, add your cornstarch. Now, usually what you wanna do for this cloud dough is have one part cornstarch and one part conditioner for your first step. So what that means is if I put in one cup of cornstarch, I'll wanna put in another one cup of hair conditioner. There we go, almost there. And as you see, I'm wearing an apron today. Cornstarch goes everywhere. It's really, really messy. So, if you need to wear an apron or clothes that you're not afraid to get a little dirty, then that might be a really, really good idea. Okay, just like that. And as you see, I have my one cup of cornstarch. So now I'm just gonna add that to my bowl. There we go. Now our next step is again to grab another one cup. I'd recommend using a different measuring cup just because the liquid will get all over the cornstarch. And now you can put the hair conditioner in your measuring cup. And don't worry, it will take lots of hair conditioner, but I promise it is worth it. And just a little bit more. There we go. Just like that. I have my hair conditioner in. If you feel like you need to add a little bit more, then that's okay too. I am just gonna add a little bit more to my mixture here. Just that way, I have one cup worth of hair conditioner and one cup worth of cornstarch. Now, next step is to grab whatever you're mixing with. I have both a spoon and a little stir stick here, doesn't matter. And then in your bowl, you just want to start mixing. Make sure you get all the cornstarch mixed with the hair conditioner. And if you have a really, really nice smelling hair conditioner, it can smell really nice. As I said, I absolutely love strawberries. It's one of my favorite fruits. So my cloud dough will smell exactly like strawberries. There we go. And it will take some time to mix it, don't worry. I promise it's worth it, so be nice and patient. But make sure that you're getting all along the sides of the bowl, and then you're bringing it right to the middle to just keep mixing. Now, it will start to look like melted marshmallows when you're almost ready to be finished this step. So you know how you have like s'mores and your marshmallows melt on the fire? Just like that. It'll be really, really sticky. So I wouldn't recommend putting your hands in quite yet. Again, just grabbing from the sides. There we go, almost there. Awesome. And this is what mine looks like. Nice little fluff. You see? It's a little thick, but not too, too thick quite yet. So, what you want to do next is you start gradually adding your cornstarch. And this is where, once you add a little bit of cornstarch, you stop and stir it in with what you already have. And then you will see that your mixture here, your dough, will start to get 
a little bit less wet and a lot drier with the cornstarch because it's absorbing the moisture. And that will start to make this from being really, really sticky marshmallow fluff into more of a dough, as you see with this one right here. And once you have all of the cornstarch mixed in, you just keep adding some more until your mixture looks a lot more like dough. As you can see, it's getting everywhere. It's really, really messy, so don't worry. Hence why I'm wearing the apron. There we go. It's starting to thicken up quite a bit more. And once you're finished, you'll really want to say it's like two parts cornstarch to one part hair conditioner. So if I put in the one cup, of hair conditioner like at the start, I'll have about two cups worth of cornstarch in my dough here. But mine is still looking a little bit liquidy, so I will need to add some more cornstarch. And the reason that you do it gradually in little steps is because your dough will start to crack if you put, say, your two cups of cornstarch in with your one cup of hair conditioner. So it's better to do it nice and slowly so you can really measure just how much cornstarch you need for your dough. All right, and mine's starting to get a little bit harder to mix, so I'm going to trade out my stir stick for a spoon and then just keep mixing. Mine is still a little liquidy, so I'm gonna add some more cornstarch. There we go. Awesome. Whew. And my first time making this cloud dough, I put my hands in too early and all of my dough stuck to my hands and it was almost impossible to get off. So that's why you wanna make sure uh, before you put your hands in, it starts to look a lot more like dough, so it won't be as sticky to your hands. So you see, mine's starting to clump up and become a lot more like dough. And let's say you add a little too much cornstarch in, that just means you add a little bit more hair conditioner, they balance each other out really nicely. And in the case of mine, I actually might want to add a little bit more hair conditioner here. Is it looking good, but it is starting to get a little bit too doughy. There we go. And again, be patient. Take some time and a lot of mixing. All right, but you know what? I'm feeling pretty confident that I can now just start to use my hands with this dough and mixture. And then you see, it starts to really come together. And assuming you're only doing a single batch, so again, that is the two cups of cornstarch and then the one cup of hair conditioner, it actually comes out to make quite a bit of dough. All right, and you see how it's starting to get that really, really neat Play-Doh-like consistency? That means that you've done all the right steps. So you just wanna keep mixing and keep playing with it a little bit because that's how you get the stretch and the really, really nice, smooth feeling dough. So once you have your actual dough finished, just like this, you should be able to stretch and doesn't break really, really easy. You can then make whatever shape you'd like using your dough. I mean, for shapes, it makes it a little bit easier if you have like cookie cutters, whether it be hearts, stars, animals, anything like that as if you're baking cookies. It works really well for the dough. I don't. So I mean, what you could always do is just take a little bit part off 
say make a circle and then this can be a head for an animal, cat, dog, anything like that. Add little ears, details as you'd like. And the best part is your dough stays fresh for quite a long time, which is really good. But remember, like this one was my example, if it starts to break really easy, just play with it with your hands a little bit more. So then it becomes a little bit squishier and a little bit more elasticity to it. And just like that. So if you'd like to make sure that your dough stays nice and fresh for a while, what I'd recommend is when you're finished playing with it, putting it in a Ziploc bag or a little Tupperware plastic container. And then that way it's not in the air for too, too long and then it won't dry up and crack really, really easy. But that'll be everything for today's craft, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really, really easy two ingredient cloud dough recipe and thank you guys very very much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you all soon have a good one everyone